Hi, Unified Innovation. I'm Aubrey. And I'm Elise. We're students from Buffalo High School in Minnesota. Aubrey and I are teaming up to talk with you about a really important topic, teamwork. Teamwork literally requires a team of people to work together to accomplish a goal. It's a simple word, but it's packed with meaning. One key part of teamwork is collaboration. Collaboration involves a group of people sharing their ideas and skills in order to achieve a common goal. An example of teamwork would be a group of people playing a sport together. But an example of collaboration is when that team discusses what their strategy should be on the field instead of just one person choosing the plays for the group. So collaboration is just a more specific type of teamwork? Exactly. Being able to collaborate is an important part of life in any team. Some other examples of collaboration are planning an event, playing a sport, or when we're working on a science experiment in class. If it, if it makes it easier to work alone, but you can have problem and learn results. Two have the better one, as they say. Collaboration not only helps us reach success, but it also helps us learn to respect others' perspectives and ideas, to appreciate others' strengths, to think creatively, and to resolve conflict. There's so many benefits of collaboration. Aubrey, I have a fun idea. Before we talk more about collaboration, let's show our viewers how to collaborate. Okay, what do you want to do? Let's create posters for Bison Connection, our unified club. Here's the goal. We need to create posters to motivate other students to join the club. We will have to include important information, like where to meet, why someone should join, and how to sign up. We definitely need to make them eye-catching. We can use any materials and design. Oh, this will be fun. Let's create a poster for a tie by the Connection Club or work together. Can you write join by the connection? You don't like bubble letters? Yeah. That's a really good color for drawing leaves. Okay. I agree. Especially oh, wait, that is really good. Yeah? I think it's important to listen to each other. Um, because if you don't listen to each other, everyone just ends up talking over each other and nothing can actually get done. I think that means when someone has an idea, even if you might not like that idea, you don't just say, no, that's stupid, we're doing it my way. You say, well, that was a good idea, but I think this could be better. And then you can talk it out amongst the whole group instead of just one person dominating everything. Um, so then everyone can be um, friendly, helpful, and and just be positive to each other. I think we, we did a really nice job calling the whole thing. We did it! <laughs> no, it though it wasn't easy, collaboration led to success. We just showed us the collaborative skills, like listening. What other collaborative skills are important? I think supporting one another's strengths is key. Every member of a group can bring something to the table. Appreciating and supporting strengths can help split up the work and equally and lead to a more positive experience. We do this in Bison Connection. Like some people are better at setting up events and some people are better at recruiting new members. I love how people know strengths with following directions and helping plan events. Recognizing strengths and supporting weaknesses led to success. And everyone's able to have fun. I also love how you mentioned communication. When we made the posters, we didn't just talk over one another, we practiced listening and questioning too. We did this in our student board directors meeting too, didn't we? Yeah. We create a space to share ideas on how we can make our schools more inclusive. We listen closely and problem solve as a team. We also ask a lot of questions. Questioning us isn't a bad thing. It's not. It forces us to dig deep and provide reasoning. This can lead to even more collaboration and fresh ideas. All of these skills really overlap and work together in order to create a strong collaboration within a team. Any group can benefit from collaboration. This includes a team, like Unified Soccer or Bocce Ball, or a club like Wise and Connection. But it also includes groups in classes, at work, or even with your family. Let's look at five easy steps to help collaborate. Step one, outline and agree on goals. This will ensure everyone is on the same page. When you're all working towards the same goal, your collaboration will be more effective. Step two, make sure team and inclusion are diverse. This means having a meaningful mix of people of different races, genders, beliefs, abilities, and more. Think about who might be missing. Reach out to others to join or ask your leader to add new members. This will help make more ideas and solutions. Step three, learn and support one another's strengths. Ask questions like, what are you good at? How do you learn? And how do you like to communicate? Giving people a chance to highlight their strengths and make sure everyone is actively involved. Step four, communicate. Show respect to your teammates by listening closely. Remember, even if your ideas are different, you're still on the same team. Listening will show respect to others and open your mind to new perspectives. Respecting others makes them feel more comfortable even if there's more shy, don't forget to ask the, the feedback and thoughts. Step five, 
celebrate your collaborative success. Take time to enjoy and reflect on each other's contributions. So there we have it. Let's spread the message of collaboration and build the unified generation. Share this video. Make sure to tag us. Follow us on TikTok at, at Unified Generation and Instagram at SO North America. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. Scroll down and click the subscribe as soon as the video ends. Thanks for working with us, Unified Generation. See you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs>